Hey, what's up, Serena? And thank you so much for everyone that helped me reach my goal of 100 subs. Uh, I was pretty happy to have reached this already, considering I pretty recently just posted out that video about reaching 50. So thank you all for that. And if you're new to the channel, thank you for checking out this video. And please just consider subscribing so that I can continue to grow this channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing my tips and tricks from flying and how I've overcome my fears of traveling by plane and this video was actually requested by Light Queen 212 so thank you for that request. So last summer was actually my first time traveling by plane and it's crazy that that was my very first time but I feel that through that experience I learned a lot and it was a very long flight. It was actually from the US to England and that was when I started my trip all over Europe. So. I'll be sharing some general information that I feel like anyone who's flying can learn from because I know everyone's experience is a little bit different on planes and it's each plane is a bit different so I'll try to share some general information that anyone can use that's flying. My first piece of advice is to bring enjoyable things to do whether this is books, handheld devices, phones, whatever it is, just whatever you like to do really because even a short flight or what you think will feel short might actually feel really long and especially if you get worried with uh, flying by plane it can be a good distraction from that. So to go along with that on my flight we had many TVs but I believe this is only on international flights or on big planes so the thing is they're really nice except that they give you earbuds that really hurt your ear unless you bring your own. Another tip is just to be prepared for the worst, so I'd recommend having earplugs, especially if you plan to sleep, or noise-canceling headphones, so that if there's crying babies or a lot of obnoxious noises, you can just pop those in and kind of cancel it out. And then also maybe a sleep mask, because a lot of times you can't control the light that comes in unless you're in a window seat, which even then you can't control the ones like behind or in front of you. So it might be nice to have. Sorry if this glitches a bit. I had full phone storage, so I had to go back and delete some stuff off my phone. But now I should be good, hopefully. But I was saying to take Dramamine beforehand or have some with you just in case you do get motion sickness, which I personally, I normally get motion sickness on boats and in cars and stuff, but I actually didn't feel any motion sickness, so. Maybe you will, maybe you won't, so hopefully you don't. So regarding getting over your fears of flying, my biggest thing that helped me anyways is to just socialize with people both before my flight and on my flight because it helped distract me from my fears and it honestly just made the experience way more enjoyable for me. Next, I would recommend trying to sleep or just doing one of those things that I recommend bringing on the plane with you that you really enjoy to do because uh, this will just calm you and help you focus your mind on one thing rather than the several things that could be causing your anxiety. So my last thing regarding the fear of flying is just to know that the worst case scenarios are very rare and I challenge you to push past those fears and just enjoy your time and get out there and travel because it's definitely worth it. Thank you so much for watching and if you have any additional tips feel free to drop them down in the comments so that I can learn from them and other people can learn from them and we can all benefit from the information you provide and it's really fun just to see other people interacting in the comments and just to be able to learn from one another. Please subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful and also comment if you donated to either links that I'm going to be leaving in the description to St. Baldrick's and the Cancer Research Institute because I would really like to start giving shout outs to people that donate to these organizations because they're very important to me and I'd love to see other people supporting them as well. And in my next video, I will be posting about the next country that I travel to in Europe. So I'm really excited about this and this will be a lot less just sit down and talk like my last few videos have been. So hope to see you then.